been painting every day for 60 years. So there are my work all over the world. I'm sitting here and I think, how is it possible? How, can, how did I become so old? <laughs> but luckily I'm working just as much as when I was very young, maybe more. My name is Britt Botros Reilly. I am born in Norway and I moved to Egypt 44 years ago. And I'm an abstract painter. I really love my life in Egypt. I love the climate, I love the people, and I love the feeling that I'm so free to create here. On the plane, I met the love of my life, an Egyptian. And that was Rauf Potros Rally. And I couldn't do anything else. I had the love of my life here. I had all my children coming in, the, staying and going, and, and I had a new son. My life was filled. There was no way of going back. Painting is my life. And it's so exciting because every day is different. Every day you wake up and say, oh my God, what am I going to do today? something wonderful. If you have that passion for what you are doing, it is a blessing. Of course, here you, if you come to Egypt, you have the facility of people that can help you. Everybody supports you and you feel loved. I think this is the most important, is that you feel the love from people. And when I meet young people who want to move to Europe and I always said, it is much kinder to live here. It might be crowded, it might be difficult in many ways, but you feel you have this protection of love here that you don't have many other places. The women of my world was painted one by one, and then they went all over the world on exhibitions. But I didn't have any sort of, of a, a, a political feeling about it. When they came out, it happened during the revolution. But I think it was to kind of bring women, the whole world together. Because I have so many from Africa, from Asia, from Japan, from all over the world. And, and something they all had together is, they were all very, very powerful women, like goddesses. Maybe th these women came through me to give the power to the revolution because the women were very powerful in the revolution here in Egypt. You know, you always hear about the women of Egypt that they are so uh, suppressed and that the men are kind of, but I see a very different story. I find the women very powerful here and very straightforward especially in the lower middle class. I, I, I'm, uh, I admire them very much, how, how they hold the family together. They are powerful, they are full of, of you know, they are loud, you know, <laughs> very, very loud, but they are always with the sense of humor and, 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 and with a lots of love. You know, I'm very, I, I admire them. Right? I saw this old house that has been empty for, for years and dirty and triste. So I thought, this is not nice. So I made a big mosaic on the, in the street and painted all the, the streets so it's beautiful and nice. And I took over it and then I made it as a showroom for, for my work. But then when I was thinking, there is not nothing here in Agami for people. They can go to the beach and there's nothing for them to see. So why not make it a place with different artists, people can come and visit. So it's like you invite the onlooker to come into the studios of the artist. Because when you buy a piece of art, you buy a piece of that person who made that piece of art. And I think it's so important for, for the collectors and for everybody to get to know what, who, who is behind this work. 
the energy behind it. And, and also revive Agami to something else and not something, oh, it has become so terrible, because it's not terrible. It is wonderful, but we all have to put the, an effort in. I don't believe this of sitting there and have the big inspiration. I think the work itself brings it. I, I sometimes make a painting and I step back and say, how in the world did I do that? Because I let things happen. What do you need in the, in the studio? You need a pair of jeans and a t-shirt. That's my life. My goal is to do a fabulous painting. And what I feel that is also for a younger artist is to not be afraid to follow this energy that in, if you get famous on doing this, you have to not be scared to get out of the picture, do something else, because that can lead to something more fantastic. But we have to always be honest in our work. It's all to be open and to take your egos out and just let things happen. Let it just flow. And then I think uh, sometimes you get very surprised what, what can happen.